just bussin' respectful. <laughs>very close associates we have the boy easy mac hello how say you hello guys doing? how you guys doing and the boy Knox. say hello what's up <laughs> what's up <laughs> <laughs> today we have a few topics to talk about last time we got off topic but that's okay because it's going to happen every single time what we've decided to do now is pretty much just let it flow we'll start with something and then go from there see how it turns out but easy you want to go with those notes you have there for us all right, well, today what we want to talk about is kind of just put light on what's going on in Israel and uh, that, in Palestine and everything that's, like, going on down there with uh, the beef between uh, Gaza and Israel. Palestine. Gaza's in Egypt, right? And Gaza's right next to Egypt. Gaza's next to Egypt? Yeah. yeah. You'd have to show me on a map, dude, because I don't know where the fuck Gaza is. See, there's Gaza. Oh, okay, I see, I see. The Gaza Strip, and then the West Bank right here, that's... Um, sort of like Palestine as well. God damn. So this is Palestine and this close. is Palestine. And back before World War II, this entire spot, which is Israel, was Palestine. Yeah. And then when the war happened and all the Jew, the, all the Jewish refri- refugees came and then they were in settlements, they started to take over. So that's why the fighting is because they're Palestine's pissed off, and they're yeah, saying they're, that this is our land. They're, they're losing more land. Yeah. Interesting. But okay. So, so the Palestinians are pretty much getting backed into a corner. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Like and they're they, getting all their land and taking away. They hate the Israelis and the Jewish people because of it. How how much do you know about the uh, the history of I the know, Israelis? I know a bit of the history. The Palestinians? I, could, I could tell you guys a little bit. That's what I was going to talk about. I know it's about. biblical. I know it well, goes it's, back. It's deep. more. Than, it's more than biblical too, because it's like a, it's a. You can't really tell who's the real enemy. That's like why it's so hard to choose a side between. Well, yeah, us. it's like this the war on terror. Not, this is why we're not well, involved as well. Is because it's Amer- a, America is involved. America, mm-hmm. Israel, and America are like we're allies. Really, really close allies because America gives. Israel all of its weapons. You know, Biden just approved um, a, a a shipment. I think it was a money or a shipment of weapons. It was either it was to arm Israel. They, so they they're they're very proactive in this. Right now. They will one hundred percent back Israel no matter what. Mm-hmm. But the, the because the, their their footprint. Well, in technically, the, the Palestinians East. are like Hamas. They're like the the Al Qaeda like terrorist groups. Is is supposedly what I've seen. Like, uh, well, I mean, yeah, they do like the bombings and stuff, the suicide yeah, bombings, Al Jazeera type shit, you know. So it's like, um, but they're by labeled by the U.S. government and our ally forces terrorist organizations. Yeah, the way that they're acting, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I and get, and the other thing, they're all Muslim. Well, like, yeah, yeah, that's like the whole Muslims and Christians that will whole fight area, yeah, with the Jewish first, the Muslims. That's why. Egypt doesn't like them. That's why Jordan mm-hmm. doesn't like them. That's why Lebanon doesn't like them. That's why, yeah. like, you know. I yeah, the, and that's another like, thing is that it's never going to end. Uh, people don't realize that when it comes Syria, down to religion, religious zealots will fight literally till the day they die. Oh, like, yeah. And there's nothing you can do to change their mind. And so then, Muslims and Christians and, and, and Jews, anybody who believes in the, the Christian uh, Judeo, like belief is the, the enemy of Muslims. It's radical Muslims, radical, radical Islamics. So I don't. Yeah, I mean, then, there's and then you have the whole holy wars because that's basically what this. Yeah, is. Yeah, the, the crusades war. and all so that stuff. It's basically, I mean, like a lot of people don't understand too. The like times. Yeah, from when we talked last time about religion, people are like always bring up the crusades. They always bring it up. Like, oh, this is a, a blight on the on Christianity. It's like you do realize that that was to fight radical Islamism. And that that was literally that was what the Crusades was. It was a war between uh, the Islamic State and the Christians. So it's not all on the Christians, and it had nothing to do with the Christians going around like persecuting people. It was literally a war between two sides. They were both at fault, and they were both waging war over their beliefs. So anyone who got hurt in that war, it's 
both of those religions are to blame. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like so going back, this 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 beef has been going on for like the last couple of decades, and uh, like the last in the last seventy three years, you you're talking about like these last couple of months right now where <clears throat> uh, they're firing 200, 200 rockets and killing twenty three people and nine mm-hmm. kids. There were nine kids that were involved in that. So like that was the recent one, right? Yeah, civilians are getting like really fucked up over this, and then you think that. Yeah. And you're thinking that Israel is like me- evil for this, but then you also got to think about like taking it back when Hamas started firing at Israel, and then like you know yeah, and then people are thinking about one sided. The rockets by Israel are, yeah. is retaliation, and then and, you have all these media outlets who are pushing propaganda to make it seem like Israel is like the, the this yeah. evil state, and that, I, and I, it's I, it's, I, I was it's an ongoing a, war. I was taking note on that too because like. Um, Gaza is blaming Israel for killing the kids and they're to make it more publicized they're putting yeah. toys in the streets taking pictures of it and showing it it's off it's propaganda yeah, it's propaganda it's propaganda and, that it's always been done and it always will be and it, and it's feeding it's feeding all of our uh, liberals uh, our social our, our college our college students college uh, kids. writing yeah. down Idiots. articles and yeah you know not knowing yeah. what the two side things is and then, like, yeah. even taking it back further, when fucking Israel went back and beat, it went into the mosque and beat up um, people during Ramadan. Yeah, you, and that's one thing too. The social justice I love about it. It's it's so funny. They find whatever they can to victimize. If they can find anybody to be a victim, that's exactly they what they're the gonna victim do. 100%. They were gonna they're gonna back the victim, even if the victim is literally a mass murderer, a terrorist, a rapist. A pedophile doesn't matter what their background background is because they are now a victim and they must be man. on the he side of the victim. Women, he doesn't that? deserve to get beat. It's like that's, no, no, you that's literally like, like literally a guy could go and like rape and murder fifty women, mm-hmm. and then as soon as a cop tases him, mm-hmm. oh my god, oh my it's god, the god end he of hit the his world. head. He should have. You know, it, you know, fucking hands up. And it's like just these people don't realize that these guys, like fucking, what was his name, George Floyd? Just in case you don't forget. Oh, don't even yeah, get me started that was... on that, dude. That dude was a fucking wife beater who beat a pregnant woman, like fucking near death. Like, how the fuck is that guy innocent? He was like For all one, cracked up, fucking like, drug to his fucking mind. The video's bad. Like you could tell it's bad. Well, any anything that you take from a specific angle and then push a specific narrative is going to look bad when it's out of context. Yeah, the but that's the only bad, thing though. is that people only take that little bitty clip that they see and then they make that the context and they have no other background, no information, and they jump on it because the media is going to get views. They're going to get all kinds of money for it. Mm-hmm. But ob- obviously it, it didn't go well. It's still not going well. They had oh. to, they actually, well, that was in Ferguson, right? Where was that at? No, that was in Minnesota. Minnesota. Because I know mm-hmm. that they had defunded i believe it was it was one of those it was i think it was fergus and they had defunded the police they actually went through put a bill defunded the police and then they had to come back and refund it because crime was shooting through the roof and they realized oh wait what do you expect would happen <laughs> we kind of do need the police and it's like no fucking it's, shit dipshit it's the same thing when i forget who the uh, the U, uh, u.s women's soccer team like their captain, mm-hmm. who's like an outspoken. Oh yeah, the yeah the dumb liberal. bitch. I know who you're talking about. Um, I forget her name, but like everything she posts now is all with the so hashtag woke. defund the police. So woke. There's all, no fucking clue about, about what's going on in the world. Like, you realize you're fucking stupid when you say. Yeah, that. no, she's dumb as shit, dude. She's dumb as a box of rocks, and it's fucking hilarious. And also another thing too is like on that whole sports topic too. It's like. <laughs> Do you guys ever hear about like the the wage gap between like men and women in sports? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what's yeah. your thoughts it, on on like, that? Like they're saying that the uh, the WNBA should be paid the same amount as like the NBA. And it's like yeah. you understand that it's all based on money. Yeah. The WNBA yeah. is not making money. The When's NBA the last time you watched the WNBA? <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. I mean, we have we have a team here, and it's like, yeah, I'm proud. Like they're they're a good team oh. and stuff. I don't want to watch it. It's not Nobody like does. against women. It's just I don't find it interesting. And that's the problem. Is like if you, it's like, it's like saying, really oh well, fall in either. So it's just like I'm not. You gave you gave PewDiePie 
you know, a hundred million dollars for having a hundred million subscribers. How come me with my 20,000 subscribers doesn't have as much money as PewDiePie? Yeah, that's exactly the fuck? how it is. It makes that, that's exactly that's like what it is. Analogy. You don't drive the same traffic. You don't drive the same views. You don't have the same publicity. You don't have the same power. You don't, you haven't, you don't have the power or the views or the backing to ask for more money. That's the most dumb, selfish thing I've ever heard. And they, they, people don't understand it. They're just like, well, we're women, so we deserve more. And it's like, no, you don't. Equality means that your sex has nothing to do with how much money you make. How much money you make is all about how much money you're making your team and your boss and your owners. If you're not making them billions of dollars, you're not getting paid millions of dollars. That's just it. This is the truth. Simple. But it offends people. <laughs> so of course it offends people because they're fucking stupid and stupid people are allowed to exist nowadays and they're coddled yeah it's like every it's, episode it's, we're going to come back to this <laughs> stupid people exist and they need to not okay I mean we like, said it last week too people are every stupid. week it's going to be our fucking motto stupid people suck hashtag people are stupid yeah yeah the more you know <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> what's that shit the fucking like uh it was like a rainbow and it had like the Green words, rainbow like, like, says the more you know do, yeah. Do, do, do. <laughs> yeah you know what i'm talking about <laughs> fucking a dude but i i don't quick right there too i get that the whole thing between israel and gaza or israel and palestine and the attacks in gaza hmm. are tragic they are no one's saying they're not civilians should never die but it's war. They do get it's, used to it. It's never going to change. What happens, but yeah, it's just what happens. It's just, it's just all tactics. It's it's tactics. What they have to do to get yeah, and it's hand. part of propaganda. So even if people weren't dying, I'm just, for example, if innocents weren't dying, they would make it look like they were. That's how propaganda works. They lie, put out some actors, some toys, whatever the fuck, make it look way worse than it is because they don't give a fuck about the truth. They, they, they give hold, a fuck about getting support. And the thing is too is they hold dead babies and like kids and like show yeah, all this no, it's, pain where it's just going to make us choose their side. But yeah. And that's the which, which on, like, I'm going to be honest with, with anybody who watches this. All right. Especially if you're a fucking college kid, if you don't live there, you don't know what the fuck is going on. All right. You reading a Buzzfeed article, you reading, you're watching a YouTube video does not make you woke or informed or give you any fucking clue of what it means to be in war or know what it means to join a war, okay? Like, if you really want to show support, if you think, oh, Israel is so evil, and I just, I can't stand him, go join Hamas. Go join a terrorist organization. See how fucking well that goes for you. And, and that's, that's the just, like the, if, the, just like those stupid kids that joined ISIS. Yeah, but, or, the, or the bikers. The fucking pair of bikers who were like, we're going to bike through Islamic terrorist state to prove that they're not bad guys. Man, they both happened? fucking died. <laughs> well, that's it, so people don't know nothing about warfare either. You know, it's like they don't know no. nothing about tactics or being they don't shot know how at. they will act. It's easy None believe. of these kids were in the military or have any kind of experience in war or what war is. They've watched a couple of fucking movies, maybe fucking, you know, Black Hawk Down. And then they played Call of Duty and they're like, bro, I know what the fucking, I know all the guns. So I know how war is. I've been there. PTSD, bro. It's like, well, I'll say they, they've, they've never been shot at. And it's just, it's easy to believe that there's a more authority gained to with a less uh, military ability than you. Like how Israel is mm -hmm. overpowering Gaza. You know what I mean? Like, they, they think they of it as the bully about. picking on the little guy. Yeah. And it's like, you do realize that America used to be the little guy and we still won that war. And they're wrong. You know? So. Guerrilla tactics work. That's why we, we no one has beaten the Islamic State. No one has beaten the terrorists. Russia tried to, to fight with Al Qaeda and the terrorists in Afghanistan. They fucking lost. We thought we could do the same thing. We spent like fucking 15 years in Afghanistan and Iraq and we still lost. I mean, they're, they're like, oh, we didn't lose because it wasn't a war. We fucking lost, bro, because we didn't we didn't uh, <laughs> we didn't annihilate the enemy. They still exist. There's still attacks going on. They're just calling themselves different things from Al Qaeda yeah. to Hamas to fucking ISIS. Doesn't matter what they call themselves. They're still Islamic radicals and they're mm -hmm. always going to exist no matter what we do. And people yeah. are like, well, 
Obama funded them. <laughs> Why are they now turning on us? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking retarded, dude. Yeah, Stop also, funding the war. It's it's also saying like you want war give, makes money. It does. It's like it's like saying you want to give a proportionate response against the Taliban. Like, why the fuck would you want to do that? Like, bro, we can't we can't say shit. We bombed the fuck out of them after they bombed the towers. We we fucking shit on them, bro. It's like it's like, like you can't now be to... like, oh well, that was in the past, so now we're we're on their side because we're woke. It's twenty twenty one. It's like saying like, you want to give the Taliban a chance by showing them where we put the, where we put our minds when they come to get us. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Like, nice. like, why would you want to give anybody an edge? It's, it doesn't make sense. Bro, I've I've been through IED training. I've I've fucking done that shit, and it's like they the shit they do is fucking creative as fuck, and people don't realize how crazy these motherfuckers are. They're so smart. These guys would used to take, uh, you know what an MRE is, right? Is right? Yeah. The the the, the, the meals that we eat yeah. in the military. So those MREs, people were dirty, right? And they would fucking eat their MRE, throw the bag outside the fob. And so the uh, fucking terrorists, the Islamic State, would figure out what these guys were doing and like, okay, these motherfuckers are dirty as shit. They would take the MREs, fill them with fucking IEDs, and put them back. So when the cleanup crews would go around the fob to pick up all the fucking MREs, boom, they'd kill yeah. the fucking soldiers or Marines or whoever was there. And it's like, dude, these guys, they don't give a fuck. Like, they're, they don't give a fuck that they're the small guy and that we're the big bully. Like, they're still killing hundreds of thousands of people with their tactics. Doesn't matter if they're innocent civilians, they're military contractors, if they're uh, actual service members, they just want to kill the West. They want to kill anyone who is not Islamic. It's part of their agenda. You, as a college kid in America, are probably not part of the Islamic State. So, you're on their hit list. You need to know that. Full Metal Jack did painted that perfectly with the, with the toy. Sure did. That was, that was connected with the, to the grenade. So, as soon mm -hmm. as he picked it up, boom. Oh, yeah. That's, that was, that's that, an idea. That they used to have little kids. I mean, they still do. I mean, there's there's been... I mean, even... Uh, what was that movie with Chris Kyle? Um, I uh, forget what the... American Sniper. Um, American Sniper, yeah. Where they literally have the like the woman, right, coming out with like a bomb on her, but she's got her like kid right next to her, and he has to make a decision. Is he gonna like, take that shot? Is he gonna kill it. the woman to prevent her from detonating and killing the entire battalion or the, the entire squad? Uh -huh. Whatever it is. You know? So it's like those are decisions that you gotta make in the field. And unless you've ever been in the field and you've been to war and you know the tactics, you can't fucking say shit. And even in, and that's a whole other thing too, is like the way we treat our service members overseas, like the whole like uh, rules of engagement, the, the ROE dude is like, you can't even be, you can't shoot until you've been shot at. Yeah. Now. Like, well, yeah. That, for, well, it's been like that for a few years now, but yeah, like during Iraq, no, like in Iraq, they would just fucking you know, bah, 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 killing everybody. But now it's like, you have to be shot at before you can shoot. Like at and first the thing it was is, like if if they if they had if you saw a weapon then you were clear to engage but now it's no you can't even yeah not even with a like a like you you can't even if you see a weapon you're not allowed to shoot they have to aim the weapon at you and I don't know if you've ever been in a in a, a situation like even like remotely close to that where somebody has a weapon and I have I've been well it was a knife when I was standing I was uh. I was doing duty. This is actually in Lamore too. Uh, I was a gate guard working with the uh, security forces, auxiliary security forces, and somebody approached the gate with a knife, and we actually had a draw on him. And people don't realize that, like, when somebody has a weapon, if they're intent on killing you, they have the advantage because, especially when you have the ROE that we do, uh, you have to react. And anyone who's been trained knows that uh, reaction is always slower an action. The person taking the first move has the advantage. If they lift their gun to shoot you, nine times out of ten, you're fucked. Because at that point, you're reacting, and you're going to be slower than them. Always. Action always beats reaction. And with a knife, if someone was, tw like, they call it the 21-foot rule. If somebody is within 21 feet of you, they have the advantage, even if you have a gun and they have a knife. Because the chances yep. of you hitting them accurately in a, in a, a fatal spot are very slim to none, and the chance and the, how fast that someone can get to you, uh, get to you in, within twenty one feet is incredibly fast. And with a knife, mm -hmm. even if you're wearing a bulletproof vest, bulletproof proof vests are for one bulletproof. They're not they're bullet resistant, not bulletproof. Mm -hmm. 
and they are not knife proof or knife resistant unless you buy a special kind, which the military doesn't. So you can still get stabbed through a bulletproof vest. So you can, mm-hmm. you'll, you'll like, you'll die nine times out of 10. If you don't shoot that person within that 21 feet, they're going to stab the fuck out of you and you're probably going to die. So you have to make that instantaneous choice to fire on that person. And overseas, you can't because they have to show intent that they're coming after you. If someone's just carrying a knife, they could be within 10 feet of you. And if they're not charging you or looking at you, you can't engage. But if they turn around and decide to stab you, you're already fucked because you can't react within 10 feet to someone with a knife. You're going to get stabbed. Question is just where. But still, it's insane the way we have our service member, members with their hands tied or we're fighting guerrilla warfare tactics where these people are using children, women, all kinds of shady fucking tactics to kill us. But we have to fight with our hands tied, which is why we'll never win, for one. And then two, we have our law enforcement officers over here in the States with barely any training who don't have like pretty much any rules of engagement. Like, if you just fucking talk shit to them, they can shoot you in the back, basically. Which is, is totally fucked. They should have... It should be the opposite. The rules of engagement should be pretty much free-for-all in the military and hands tied behind your back for law enforcement. Because law enforcement, you're supposed to be protecting those people. Protect and serve. Military, you are hired assassins. You are supposed to go kill the enemy. That is your job. That is what you're trained to do. That is what they desensitize us for. But yet, the ROEs are flipped for some reason. That never made sense to me. Law enforcement should be way more intense on their ROE. Because the the view of America to the rest of the world is supposed to be one that we are, we're nice, we're here to protect. And here, it's more like, what you've been saying. Where <laughs> yeah, exactly. The cops are not nice and are, are not protecting. Like, yeah, like that's what's fucked up. On top of the fact that when, most of them I mean, got bullied. Yeah, no. On, there's a bit, and this is like a well known like thing, psychology wise, that a lot of people who have like authoritarian issues and, and, and like insecurities will join these, these like military and law enforcement to try and get to a position of power where they have people who will listen to them no matter what. It's like, it's basically regulated. And that's, that's the big problem with the military. It's why I left. You have too many fucking shit dicks in power. People who should not be leaders in leadership positions. They're fucking garbage. They're assholes. They're insecure, whiny little bitches. But they've been in longer and they stayed in because they knew they can get power. All the good people get out because they realize all the shit dicks are in charge. And it's the same thing with law enforcement, dude. You have all these assholes with insecurities and little tiny fucking pea-sized dicks walking around trying to wave their power. I've, I've met some fucking asshole cops. I have a lot of friends who are cops. I have good fam- I have fr- family. My sister's a cop. Yeah, but good friends coming in, going into the force or are in the force already. Yeah, and it, but it's sad to see how many people abuse that position. And I, even me, as a white guy in fucking... You know, where I live, I'm not going to say exactly where I live, but in the, the city that I live in, it's a decent city. It's pretty well off. And I've still had encounters with piece of shit prick cops who should not be anywhere near a badge or a gun. That tells you a lot, dude, about the state of the police in this, in, in, in this society. Imagine being a black guy in fucking Compton, bro. How, how fucked must that be? How must... how corrupt must some of these cops be in like New York and Chicago like we watch the movies obviously but obviously in real life it's worse <laughs> it's, yeah. it's they, definitely they worse and then we can they make really actually relate the... yeah yeah so it's it's pretty fucked bro everything is so backwards and we just keep voting for the same shit <laughs> not us obviously but the American people it's it's insane how how people fall into this cycle it's like all the people who come who leave California, or like Texas or Colorado or Florida, and then they start turning the state blue. It's like, bro, why the fuck did you leave if you're just going to do the same shit somewhere else? 
like what what all the people were moving from California to Texas and Texas is getting pissed because they're like, look, we moved to Texas or we live in Texas because it's Texas. Yeah. California yeah. shit in California. If you like California, stay the fuck in California. Yeah. Don't bring your California shit to Texas or Colorado. Colorado, from what I've heard from the people who I, I know that move there, has become like a blue state. It's become very liberal. And it, it, there's not a lot of places around there where, where it's like Republican or conservative friendly. And it's like, that's why move to these places if you're going to ruin them. Hmm. That, just stay in California. Keep sucking over there. I don't know why you go like fuck that up. You obviously, and that's the thing, people don't realize the legislation they're voting for. They're like, oh, well, this guy says, he says nice things. He's charismatic, and he says he's going to take care of me by giving me free money for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's like, bro, you do realize it's not free. Even like the stimulus, you're going to have to pay it back in taxes, which are going to fucking skyrocket. You know, even unemployment, you know, is not free. Pay it costs too. people lots of money. And the problem is, is it, people like one, uh, you know, Tyler Hoff, he was mentioning, he lives in Idaho. He was mentioning oh, how homie. a lot of people in Idaho are not working. Huge unemployment rate because Idaho, the minimum wage is like $7 or something like that. Something stupid low. And so they're getting paid like $14, $15 an hour on unemployment. They're getting way more on unemployment than they would at work. So why go back to work? Mm -hmm. That's a huge issue. And, and it makes sense. I wouldn't do it. Why the fuck would I go back to work like flipping burgers at McDonald's when I could stay home and play video games and get paid twice as much? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's the same here, bro. Nobody's working in Vegas either, bro. It's getting like Vegas Everywhere. opening up. It's oh, Everything is opening up here again. And um, yeah, like... Right, my girlfriend, she works at Aria, dude. There's so many people that don't show or call out because it's just not worth fucking being there. It's not worth coming and, in. And then, like, now the casinos are now are, are looking for people to hire because nobody wants to come into yeah. work. Cause and they're having to in. increase their wages. They're having to pay people more. Yeah. Even fast food is, like, now, like, $13, $14 a minimum because nobody, wow. nobody wants to go work for less than that, which makes sense because, especially in California... It's fucking for, ridiculously expensive to live here. The pay ridiculous. is shit. And the pay is shit. Else is too expensive. Yeah, but unfortunately, the problem is, is it doesn't solve the problem economically. Because no, just yeah, paying somebody just gonna, more, yeah, just it just means it, well, everything gets more expensive. Yeah, it means those businesses are going to comp. They're going to they're going to make sure that they get everything else at a, at a at a cheaper rate, and they're going to sell it at a higher rate. Good so even if they menu. get yeah, the dollar menu is <laughs> gone. It's not even a dollar anymore. Yeah, oh, it doesn't exist anymore. Mac, you're insane. Friend. Yeah, no. <laughs> the whole thing is fucked. You to burn it down. It's a whole, a big fucking catch twenty two. And there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Webcam utility. It literally, yeah, I need like, this. I need to go buy that camera, bro. I'm tired of this shit. You, you yeah. pay your worker more, and then you fucking charge more for it. And mm -hmm. then it comes back around. And then, and then yeah, when he wants to go buy a burger, what, now what it's like fucking ten dollars instead of a dollar. Yeah. Now the the person that you raised their the minimum wage up for to afford this thing now can't even afford it because and, and his rent goes up. And then his yeah, rent goes yep. up. Everything goes up. Goes up. And so now he can't. He's, he's in the same exact situation he was before. He still and can't then, afford dick. Start asking for twenty dollars an hour to hit a button that has a picture of medium fries on it. Yeah. Well, and, but you know what happens is it, they don't pay him. They fire him yeah. and they replace him with an automated robot who does it for free. Or like the, in the position that I was in at my old job, they'll just, they'll bring someone else in who will do it for cheaper. Yeah. Cause there's always going to be that guy. There's always going to be, always be that guy. But see, the problem is not you for asking more. The problem is the, the guy with the poor person mentality who will take anything for, for any reason. That guy will never be rich. That guy will never be well off. He'll never be financially independent. Because, and that's one thing I'm, I'm reading right now in a book called Think and Grow Rich, is that you have to know what you're worth and you have to demand what you want. If you don't know what you want, if you don't plan to get what you want and you don't demand what you want, you will never get it. 
And people, they have this, this problem. And it shows when they go to college. A lot of people go to college and they don't know what they're going for. They'll go pay money and they don't even have a major in mind. They're, they get, end up getting like a liberal arts degree because they don't know what the fuck they're doing or why they're there. And they pay, you know, $50,000 a year plus, end up graduating with this degree that's completely useless. And they have to take the first job that comes out the gate because they didn't plan. They don't know what they want to do. They're indecisive, which is not a trait of a leader. And that's, that's the problem. We have too many people who are indecisive, don't know what they want to do, and will just take anything, which is desperation. It's not education. The schools aren't teaching people that that's the wrong thing to do. When you graduate college, you should know, okay, I want to be this. I want to get paid this much. I put in the work to do this. And so this is what I expect. And since people don't do that, they get taken advantage of, they get abused. And then these employers can just hire the cheapest worker because nobody has fucking standards. That's the problem. And then that, like, that same person who goes to college gets that degree is getting paid less because they're not even working in their uh, yeah. desired field or, than a person who didn't go to college and went and did a skill trade and they're making six figures. Uh -huh. Or they don't even get the job because they're overqualified, which exactly. happens a lot too, which is fucking, that, to me, that's like the weirdest shit in the world. Like if I went to college and you, know, you sure, now that's the problem with going to college so young. You don't know what the fuck you want to do. But say you did go to college young. Didn't know what the fuck you wanted to do. You got a degree. But now you're like, you know what? I really, really want to be a mechanic. So I'm going to go work at, you know, Chevy or whatever the fuck. So you go to work at Chevy and they're like, sorry, you have like a master's in psychology. Yeah, we think you're overqualified. It's like, bro, this guy literally put in the effort, showed that he has the, the ability, the dedication, the passion to see something through, which is true. You know, if you put in four plus years to go to college, you got some dedication in you. I'll give you that. So for him to show that dedication and then you'd be like, sorry, we're not going to hire you because you're too dedicated. You're too hard working. <laughs> that makes no fucking sense to me. Like if that's what like you want to do ask for too much money. It's yeah. Me, it's well, you. Yeah. I mean, just tell him, <laughs> Hey, sorry, you know, this is what we're offering, you know, $15 an hour, whatever it is to start as a mechanic. Your background obviously doesn't relate to what we do. But if you really want to do this, go for it. You know, that in my opinion, as an employer, I would, I would love to see that kind of initiative. You know, if I, if I had somebody work for me, even if they're just like, you know, helping me like return emails, you know, I would rather choose the guy who either had military experience or a college degree or a lot of experience in like one company. Then somebody who is like flip flopping, flopping back and forth can never hold a job, yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. Cause you want somebody who can show dedication. So if somebody was dedicated enough to put in the work to go to college and get this and that, okay, I'm not going to pay you $40 an hour for that psychology degree of yours. But if you want to return my emails, sure. That I'll, even if this is just a fucking stepping stone for you, like, why would you not give that person a chance? It doesn't make any sense to me. Yep. Yep, yep. People but, just don't uh, think things through, man. It's all a fucking scam. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's all a scam. <laughs> it's a conspiracy, I tell you. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Oh, you want you want to know, want to go into a, a, a canceled segment? <laughs> I know this is gonna yeah, cancel. Yeah, let's see some what you people. got, bro. <laughs> it's gonna it's a total one eighty, bro. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. It's it fucking it's like a totally different direction where we're gonna go. But uh, which way do you guys wipe? Mm. What? Okay, what I'm gonna be bro, honest. With this, you, is bro? A, this is a cancelable topic, the, dude. Okay, you, you guys answer first because I'm gonna judge you. Are you saying right, like go. front to back or back to front? Which way do you stand up when you wipe? Do you fucking? Oh, you he wants wipe? to know the whole nine yards, bro. Balls, he wants to know like, everything. Lift the leg. Do you use yeah. toilet paper? Do you use baby wipes? And dude, wet do you, wipes. Do, and how stock. do you use the toilet paper, dude? Do you fold it? Do you crunk? Mm. If you're a crumpled you, person, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Do you do like quadrants. Yeah. How many times do you use the same piece? All right, dude. So, well, how, I, okay, I'll start. Oh, we'll start off with how do we'll you start wipe? with Easy Mac because it's his question. Wipe? How do you wipe? Okay, so me personally, lift up the leg. And then some, I'll, I'll start Doggy off. Doggy style. I like it. I'll start off. 
<laughs> back to front just a little bit okay. just because dude, I don't like to get the, the Do you use fingers or the whole the palm? Do you no, like the I, whole I thing or just like dude. a couple fingers? I use like two no, or three all I the use fingers. Like, yeah. So you like cupping it. Yeah. Like okay. Well, all right. All and right. I cup it out and then I go okay. front to back. Front so to I back. Okay. Down, so away down. from the gooch. Okay. Yeah. I go forward yeah, a little bit and then back. Oh, so you go both ways. Yeah. Mac well, goes both ways. You heard it here, folks. I go both ways. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Knuckles, you're next. I fucking, like, stand and hover over. <laughs> you stand? You hover? What are you fucking Dr. You Strange? You just, like, hover over the toilet and just, like, like let your you cloak fucking, wipe your ass for you? You get up and then you just, like, you have, you know, you Bro, that's paper. a lot of fucking leg yeah. power. Wow. Just, He's not like, flexible. That's what it is. And, like... Just, you don't like stand up and walk around with it or whatever. You mm. just, I'm okay. not sticking my hand inside the bowl. You know what I'm saying? No, so, yeah, yeah. You don't want to so do that. So you completely like, I, you know, get up. You do one uh, of these. Yeah, a little oh, bit so more hunched over, like, but yeah. Your, your, your fucking thighs must be rock That's hard. what I'm saying, bro. You no, got a some leg power. Bro. Yeah, just fucking squat. It's not that hard. To do. Yeah, because you got. I muscles. mean, I did. I even. I used to hard. do that even when my leg was in a cast. Must be nice being skinny, bitch. <laughs> bitch, do you see this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. Okay, how many times do you fold the paper and you go no, front no, to back? Right? How, how do you wipe? Hold up. Uh, I want to. I want to finish his. Let's finish his. Oh, I. You didn't even see mine. My. I. I fold. Once, twice. I go. So I. I take about three or four squares. No, I'll take four squares mm. and then I'll fold it. Mm. And I'll fold it again. So you you're a toilet paper guy. Yeah. I don't I don't have mm, a okay. bidet. Oh, that would be nice. that's my next buy. Yeah, that's for ex that's expensive. That's fancy. That's bougie. I love that's that in bougie. Japan. I'm and just then gonna I, say I, I finish that's off nice. with the wet wipe. Oh, so you do use the wet wipes. Okay. Yeah. Do you like keep the KFC wipes when you eat the chicken? You just keep the wipes and then <laughs> No, I got baby wipes. No, you got baby wipes. Okay. Yeah, Smart man. Wipes. That's much better. The KFC mm, ones yeah. are a little rough, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> oh my god! What do you how do many how many times do you fold next? Oh, uh, are you, are you a crumple. crinkle? Oh no! You crinkle? I, I oh. you crinkle? I've done both. I've done what? both. <laughs> 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 the fuck is oh wrong with you, Knuckles? God. You crinkle? what the fuck? How it's, is that even that efficient? Is it's not. It's so inefficient. Like you, you are the. It's your fault that sea turtles are dying. See the reason that when you crinkle four, toilet paper, a sea turtle dies. Bro, four rolls are the four. The four squares. Fold it. Wipe. Fold. Wipe. And then sometimes if I'm feeling a little ballsy, another fold. Wipe. Yeah. And then throw. Or away. you got a little bit but on the crinkle, ballsy, and you have to gotta wipe it off. Yeah. When if you crinkle, that's just one time. That's such a waste, bro. It's you're, such you're, a waste you're going of to paper. hell for sure. You're definitely going to hell for that. <laughs> okay, I'm going front to, to back because of front to back or back to front. Front to back, duh. Front to back. Okay, all right. All you right. don't fucking. So, you don't come right. towards the balls. Well, the, dude, that's what I do. But I don't go to the balls, dude. I just go to like the edge of the the butthole, and then I fold, it's, and then I, I mean, go it's back. Just like, and then I keep going it's back. It's just like with the with the girl. Hell no, they're not gonna go. It's not the same as vagina. a girl. You gonna have a fucking hole in you that you can get shit in. I hope you don't have an extra hole that you can get I mean, shit you in. You do have a hole in your dick. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Are you like wiping all the way up your balls no, and the shaft and no. then fucking going into I'm your saying, urethra? Like, that's still that's still all bad. Bro, you no, this is not the same. Girls can't go from back to front because they'll get they shit in their pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Guys can go back a, to and front. Then they get a UTI. Yeah, you don't have a pu I hope you don't have a pussy, bro. <laughs> no, I mean actually I, I wouldn't don't. mind. I don't know. You just say that. But anyways. <laughs> what about you, Grizz? Oh, okay. All right, I'm a, I'm gonna be specific here, oh, okay? Because I'm a very silly. I'm a very specific individual. All right, and I'm very efficient, and I like to think about everything I do in an efficient manner. All right, so first off, I'm a hairy guy, okay? <laughs> and so everything matches. Right, you see this? When he's done pooping, he gets into the shower. You see to this? Make sure it's really you see this right here? <laughs> okay, everything too. is the same, bro. The same. So, if you think toilet paper is going to work on this, you're sorely mistaken, sir. Sorely mistaken. So, I only use baby wipes. I'll let you know that just to begin with. All right. And I, a little OCD, but I like to do quadrants. Okay. So, you start with the baby wipe. You put it in your palm, right? You're going to start by putting your leg on the table. 
Okay. <laughs> no, you don't. You're yeah. fucking exaggerating. No, leg goes on the table, bro. I got like a little fucking like <laughs> nightstand next to my fucking toilet. So I'll stand up. And I'll be like, oh. and then you gotta start from the back, from the, from the front. You go from the gooch, and then you go forward. Okay, to the back. But you gotta be like really rough with it because the hair it holds shit, right? Little particles, particulate. All right. So then you have it in your palm, right? And you're fold it in half. Okay. And then you do it again, right? So you repeat that process until there's nothing on the wipe. All right. And this could take sometimes two or three wipes. All right. It depends on what I ate. Taco Bell, it's like four wipes. But I'm just going to tell you that once it's clean, you're going to fold and then you're going to go back the other way just for good measure. That's what I okay. So you go from back to front. All right. And then you give the balls a little, you know, clean just to make sure nothing on there. And you're set, bro. Because you never know. When, when you drop one, splashes up, might get a little bit on the sack. Want to make sure you're cleaning that. All right. You don't want no infection in the gooch. Do you, do Not you a good place the to get a little bit? No, I call the wife in and she does that for me. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Well, I do want a bidet. I'm not going to lie. That would like dude, save I, I, so I, much fucking key, wipes. Low key, I want to buy one too. The, the fucking My Tushy, the fucking $80 bidet attachment thing. Absolutely. That's, that's the godsend, oh, bro. Dude, I, I used bidets when I was in Japan and I didn't want to leave. It was absolutely amazing. Like, have you ever been on a Japanese toilet, bro? These motherfuckers like vibrate and they have like heated seats and bidets and like a fucking stack of buttons that you don't know what the fuck they can do, but you can sit on the toilet for like twenty minutes and just like boop, 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 boop. It's amazing, bro. Their their toilets are fucking fancy. All right, they're super you're, fancy. You're in there taking a shit, and then thirty minutes later, your wife comes in. What are you doing? You just send their jacket off because you dude. Your you start out taking a shit, and you end up taking a booty bath. <laughs> that shit lasts forever, bro. <laughs> it feels so good, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we went out way off topic again, but it's always a fucking pleasure pretty good, pretty talking good with these guys. A little yeah, bit. Well, it was good. I think we had some good topics. I'll probably cut this up into like maybe three videos, but if you guys like this stuff, Just you better awesome. hit that goddamn fucking like button, okay? And the subscribe button, because that shit is, is literally the only thing that like YouTube cares about. If you don't hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell, YouTube doesn't give a fuck about you, and you're never going to see our videos, okay? So, also you, that one guy who doesn't like my cussing, watch my channel, all right? Actually watch the videos, because I cuss in all of them. We all do. They fuck a lot. Yeah, and we're a bunch of fucking cunts, so get used to it. Grizzly That's the Uncanceled Salem. Podcast. If you don't like it, fuck off. Later. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. That was pretty funny. That was good.